nice weekend to recover. Anxious to take on our next opponent, which is uh, Nevada. Glad to be back at home and anxious to get back to work. Uh, so I'll take questions, whatever they are. What did you learn from looking at the UCF Huskies? Mm, our team tried really hard. They played with a lot of grit and determination and heart. And, uh, and Christian Stewart really came along nicely. So a lot of positives, I think. Robert said after the game that the offense had been simplified down to, to kind of try and help Christian be more effective. Is that something to you know, implement more going forward, or is that something that you've got to do just because of hit where he's at? No, really a reference point to restart rather than staying there, to restart and then build from there. Any explanation why you have so many sprained ankles this year? No, it's, a, it's a really good question. There was at one point we had 10, and um, that number has gone up, so we've looked for commonalities. Um, they've happened mostly in games, and so trainers are researching it, trying to find out what the answer is, but really not much commonality. Most of them being rolled up on by somebody else in piles right now. Very few of them out in the open. Mostly bad luck then? Mostly bad luck. Do you have an injury report on who you expect might be back? I don't, uh, but you can check with Brett later. It's pretty long, so I'm not sure uh, who's in, who's not in. Um, and quite frankly, we're just going with whoever can play and not making that big a deal about it. Um, but that's pretty long. Nick had to use some young guys that looked like they were very effective. Is that encouraging to you? Really encouraging. Two true freshmen, uh, Fred Warner, Sione Takitaki, both did a really nice job. Kaimana Nakua came in and played really, really well for not having many practice reps at all. Um, and yeah, three of the starting four in the secondary were out for that game. And um, Sky Pove came in, even though he's not a new player, he came in and played really well. So I thought our defense played much better and improved in that game. Why are you having such problems covering kicks last minute? Don't know from the last game. Um, Punt-wise, punt we've been pretty solid until last game. They had a good returner, but can't tell you really other than simple execution. Um, and they kind of showed up toward the end of the game, which uh, uh, bothered me. Back on the injuries, the, the depth, the rotation that you've had throughout the year, how much difference has it made that some of these guys have gotten reps, gotten in games previously before having to be oh, trusted? A lot. It's it's good and bad. The, the, the good part is we're playing a lot of players. The bad part is we're not playing the same players together frequently enough, which does reflect on execution, uh, but that just is how it is. So good is that we've had a lot of guys play. Bad is the same guys and the same combinations not playing together as much. Was it the best? game from your front three, do you think, this year? Um, Travis Tuiloma's best game maybe as a Cougar. Um, really, really liked uh, Logan Ta'ale Ta -Ale and uh, Marcus Johnson as well. So uh, there was a lot of things that took a step forward, um, in my opinion, in that game. Really disappointed we didn't win the game. But again, I was encouraged. I thought the defense played better than they'd been playing. And I thought Christian Stewart did a really nice job. And then Paula C.K. and Algie Brown stepping up for the lack of um, Jamal Williams. I thought that looked good, and Devin Mahina had a kind of a breakout game. So uh, glad to see some players stepping up when called on. Regarding health, as much as you try and tweak camp protocols in August and things to keep guys healthy, once the ball starts rolling for real, isn't it just football at a certain point? It, mostly it is, and going back to where most of the injuries are happening, very few in practice. Almost all are happening in the game. And so what you do about that, Especially when you're on grass, hard to hard to say. How did these guys respond just coming back to practice this morning after after the mm, loss? We have, haven't practiced yet. We'll practice this afternoon, and so I met with them on Saturday. We had a team meeting, and they had a lift and a run on Saturday. They're optimistic. They're resilient. They're tough. Anxious to play again. Anxious to get to work. It's early in the week, but uh, what would you expect would be the biggest progress that Christian makes uh, in his second start? I think it'll look um, more similar to the second half of Central Florida. So first half, still more of a continuation of Utah State. Feeling, probing, finding. The second half of UCF was more execution, more deliberate, um, more specific, more confidence. And so our hope is that the second half of Central Florida looks more like, um, or our Nevada game will look more like the second half of Central Florida. How much of a look have you given Nevada at this point? Quite a bit. What do you see? I think they're a good team, um, three and three, but certainly capable. Really good quarterback, two excellent receivers, same guys as a year ago, and I would say kind of a gritty and tough defense. Um, but three and three, and I, I, I don't follow the Mountain West Conference race as closely. I think Colorado State's a good team, and 
man, that went right down to the wire. So uh, the current nature of our team could be a game very similar to Central Florida. As far as just talking about Christian, the, the pace, the, the high speed, of, the high tempo that you guys go, is that a benefit or is that a challenge that he has to deal with in that sense, just mm. just where he's at development? I, I don't think either. He's he's practiced so much in it um, that I don't really think that's contributing plus or minus. I think he's used to it. You haven't seen Ross at Pole hardly at all. Is that a, just a depth chart thing? Or? It is. Um, Ross has to just continue to fight and scrap and claw his way um, into the mix. And that's we're all hopeful that happens. Is By the numbers. Blackman ready to play? Yeah, he is, um, and um, uh, his role has been more on return in the return game than anything else. But he's uh, he's close, and hopefully we can include him more. Stat-wise, your rush defense is so solid right now, but teams are choosing to pass and pass a lot on you right now. Did you see yeah. that coming when you broke camp? Um, not necessarily because of um, what we perceived as the experience we had in the secondary. Um, what we are doing, though, is there are a lot more zone blitzes and a lot more aggressive calls to stop the run for limited gain, which exposes coverage. And so finding the right balance and blend for this particular defense of what to stop the run with to allow enough coverage help uh, with the existing players we have is a work in progress. Every player's talked about you know, the, the focus on being in the moment. Mm -hmm. Is that as beneficial you know, when you're going through a downtime the last sure. couple of losses? I think, I, think it's, I think it's beneficial whether you're winning four games in a row, which was still difficult to stay in the moment with all the outside stuff. And we weren't really successful being able to do that. Even more so now, if you flip it the other way, still beneficial. Not many people can master that, grown-ups as well as kids. So we're all working on it. When you lose, when you lose Taysom and then a number of other key players, uh, the temptation to kind of throw up the hands and say, "Well, what can you do?" kind of thing has that seeped into any attitudes that you've noticed? None, none that I know of or I've seen, and um, I'd be really disappointed and um, angry if I saw it. And so, none, none of that's shown up. On that last play uh, with Jordan Leslie in the past, uh, after reviewing the film, what did you see? And then, secondly. Is there any uh, way of contacting the... Uh, the, the simple... Pro well, first of all, it was clearly pass interference, not kind of, but absolutely pass interference. Then what we have a, a way to, to do is we send in plays for review to the officials. Um, basically, the commissioner or the head of officials of the Big 12, he reviews them, and then they'll usually say, yeah, surely there was made a mistake and nothing. That was an AAC crew, though, wasn't it? No, that was a Big 12. Well, so our coalition is uh, part Big 12, part Mountain West, and so it came from that coalition. Um, but from what I saw, it was clearly pass interference. We've had plays go for us and for against us. We send in the play. They'll, they haven't um, returned the email yet as to what they thought, but, I mean, there's really nothing you do. How important is it to get the kicks to the, uh, to the goal line? Or, 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 or Not so much getting them to the goal line, but in the target area. And we're really good right now of landing it in the target area. In fact, our kick placement is fantastic. Depth isn't as big a concern. Any kick return that's working routes now, especially kickoff return, is just really a lane assignment. 10,000 miles traveled. Uh, you've got all these injuries. Which are a challenge, but at times your team looks like they're a little tired. Have you noticed the fatigue? I haven't really noticed it. Um, I'm sleeping more than I ever have, probably, in terms of, of that. Maybe I'm just old, but um, yeah, it's a long ways. And, um, but that's part of exposure, part of independence, and that's where we are.